Hello my dear students, welcome back to Prudence Coaching. Here we will be starting with exercise 14.2 of the chapter factorization. Here the first sum is factorize the following expression and this is the given expression. For solving all the sums of this particular exercise, you need to know three identities. So let us learn those three identities first. First identity x square plus a plus b x plus a b is written as x plus a x plus b. This is the first identity. Second identity is a square plus 2ab plus b square is equal to a. Here plus means a plus b the whole square. Third identity a square minus 2ab plus b square equal to a minus b the whole square. So the difference between the second identity and the third identity is here if plus is there then a plus b the whole square. If here minus then a minus b the whole square. So let us find out here which identity we can apply. Students as you can see here 16 can be written as 4 into 4. And here 8 can be written as 4 plus 4. So, if we compare this given expression with the first identity, here we will find x square is a square. That means here x is a in this given expression. And here a plus b, in place of a plus b we have 4 plus 4. In place of a into b we have 4 into 4. That means here which one is a is given as 4 in this expression and b is given as 4. So here this given expression satisfies the given identity here. So we can write it as x plus a. But here the value of x is a and here a is 4. So we will write a plus 4. Here we have x plus a. x is a and a is 4. So a plus 4. And here we have x plus b. x is a in this expression. In this expression the value of x is a. So a plus b. So plus b is 4. So this is our answer here. Here you can use this identity also to factorize this expression which will be your homework. You are going to factorize it using this identity and send the picture in the telegram group. The link of which will be given in the description box. So let's start with the next expression to be factorized. One. Here can you find out the identity with which we can compare this given expression and factorize this particular expression. So my dear students the first thing which you should notice is this sign minus. Here we have minus. So in this three given identities which one we have minus. We have minus only one here. So we will try to compare with the identity number three. So let us compare with the identity number 3 here. So here the value of a is given to be p in this particular expression. First we will check this one then this one then we will try for this one. So let us see this one b square. So here we have 25. We know 5 square is 25. So here 25 can be written as 5 square and here value of b is 5 because b square is 5 square here. So the value of b is 5 here. Now we will see whether by putting the value of a and b we can satisfy this or not. So here we have minus so let us put minus 2. 2 we have so write 2 into a. What is the value of a here? p into b. What is the value of b? That is 5. So we are getting 2 into 5 that is minus 10 p. So this one is satisfying. That means we are going with the right one. So now let us write it in the form a minus b the whole square. So here the answer will be a minus b the whole square after factorization. But here a means p in this expression. So we will write p here minus 
B. What is the value of B here? The value of B is 5 here. So, P minus 5 the whole square. That means P minus 5 into P minus 5. We have multiplication in between. So, these are the factors. Now, let's start with sum number 3. So, here 25 can be written as 5 square and we have m square. So, we can write it as 5m the whole square. 5 square is 25, m square is m square. Plus, this part we will do afterwards. First, we will solve this one. This one is 9. That means this one is 3 square. By seeing this one, we can recall the identity that is a square plus 2ab plus b square equals to a plus b the whole square. Let us see whether this 2ab satisfies or not. So here we have 2 into a that is 5m into b that is 3. So we are getting 5 twos are 10, 10 into 3 30m. So this one and this one is satisfying. So here by using this identity that is a square plus 2ab plus b square equals to a plus b the whole square we can write here a is 5m. So the value of a in the given expression is 5m and the value of b in this given expression is 3 square b square is 3 square that means b is 3 here. So we have found out the value of a and b. So we can write the factorized form as a plus b the whole square. So here this expression is equal to a plus b the whole square a is 5m plus 3 that is b the whole square. So this is the factorized form of this particular expression given in the question. Let's start with next sum. Here as we can see we have 49y square plus 84yz plus 36z square. For solving the sums it will be easier for you to solve if you know the squares till 20. If you just look at this number carefully 49 it is 7 square and here 36 is 6 square. So you can rewrite this one as 7y the whole square. And this one can be rewritten as 6z the whole square. So as you can see this one is a square and this one b square. So here we have plus. So, so here the higher possibility is that it will satisfy the identity that is a square plus 2ab plus b square equals to a plus b the whole square. So let us check whether this one is satisfying with this or not. So here we have 2. So write 2 into a. What is a here? 7y. Into what is b here? 6z. So you just multiply 7 twos are 14. 14 6 are 84 and yz. So this is equals to 84yz. So that means it is satisfying. Here a, a is 7y. So here a equals to 7y, comma. Here b is equal to b square is 6z the whole square. That is b equals to 6z. So we have found out the value of a and b here. So we can write this one that is 49y square plus 84yz plus 36z square as a plus b the whole square here in this expression a is 7y and b is 6z so 7y plus 6z the whole square is the answer here let's start with the next sum here as you can see we have 4x square minus here we have minus by seeing this minus you can recall out of the three identities which are used only one is having minus in the second one um, that is a square minus 2ab plus b square equal to a minus b the whole square. So this must be your approach. So here what you can see can you represent this one in the form a square? Yes we can represent it. This one 4 can be written as 2 square and here we have x. So it can be written as 2x the whole square minus 8x. This one we will solve afterwards. Here we have 4. 
here we have b square we can write it as 2 square so here as you can see we have written this one in the form a square and this one in the form b square now let us check whether this one is satisfying or not here we have minus we have written minus next we have 2 into a here a is 2x into b here b is 2 so if you multiply 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 x so you are getting minus 8 x so you can use this identity so you will write by using this one here what is the value of a in this expression here a but here in this expression a is 2 x comma what is the value of b b square is 2 square that means b is equal to 2 here in this expression so we have got the values of a and b so we can write for x square minus 8x plus 4 as a minus b the whole square but here the value of a will be 2x minus b is 2 the whole square so this is our final answer you can see in the second term we have minus and only one identity is there which has minus so by using the identity that is a square minus 2ab plus b square equal to a minus b the whole square so here can you write this term in the form a square we know 11 into 11 is 121 or 11 square is 121 so we can write 11 b the whole square in place of 121 b square minus 88 bc we will solve afterwards now here we have 16 c square 16 means 4 square is 16 4 into 4 is 16 and here we have c so 4 c the whole square so b square is 4 c the whole square and a square is 11 b the whole square now let us see whether this part satisfies or not so here we will get minus 2 into a what is a 11 b into what is b that is 4 c so here as you can see 4 2 are 8 8 into 11 is 88 bc so it is satisfying with this one so we can use this identity and here the value of a in this expression here we have a but in this expression we have 11 b so a is 11 b and here the value of b here we have b but here we have 4 c so the value of b is 4 c so so we can write this expression as a minus b the whole square but here the a will be 11 b minus b is 4 c the whole square so this is our answer start with sum number 7 here as you can see we have l plus m the whole square minus 4 lm for solving this sum first we need to solve this one how we are going to solve this one we know a plus b the whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square we know this identity we know a square plus 2ab plus b square equals to a plus b the whole square here a plus b the whole square is given so we will put it in this form here the value of a is l and here the value of b is m so we will replace a and b by l and m respectively so we can write here a square that is l square plus 2 into a that is a is l here into that is b that is m plus we have plus plus b square that is m square so we can write l plus m the whole square as l square plus 2 l m plus m square so according to the question we have l plus m the whole square minus 4 l m so here we have l square plus 2 l m plus m square we can write in place of this one we can write this minus 4 l m so now after solving you will find here here we have l square here if we just subtract this one and this one as these variables are same like terms so here 2 minus 4 that is minus 2 l m you will get plus m square can you recognize the identity by seeing this expression it is very easy you just look at the expression you can compare it with the expression that is l square minus 2 a b plus b square that is equal to a minus b the whole square so here a is l so the value of a is l in this particular expression and here the value of b is m in this particular expression after comparing this one with the identity that is this one we have got a to be l and b to be m so you can write 
this one as a minus b the whole square a will be l and b will be m so we have written it like this l in place of a and in place of b we have written m so a minus b that is l minus m the whole square is our answer now by seeing the next sum you can see here we have a to the power 4 which can be written as a square to the power square that means a to the power 2 into 2 that is a to the power 4 and here we have b to the power 4 which can be written as b square to the power square that is b to the power 2 into 2 is b to the power 4 so by seeing this you can recall the identity that is a square plus 2ab plus b square equals to a plus b the whole square let us see whether this identity satisfies this expression or not so here the value of a a square so here we have a square square that means here the value of a in this expression is a square in this expression so a is a square and the value of b in this particular identity is b square in this identity so we have got the value of a to be a square and b to be b square and now we will check whether this one satisfies with this or not so we have 2 here so write 2 here into a in place of a we have a square in this expression into b that is b square so we are getting here 2 into a square b square it is satisfying that means we are correct so here a is a square and b is b square so we can write this one that is a to the power 4 plus 2 a square b square plus b to the power 4 as a plus b the whole square but here a is a to the power square plus b is b to the power square the whole square so this will be our answer here so my dear students with this we conclude this video if you find the content of this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your friends and do complete this sums at your home today practice well and on the next day we will be starting with the next sum so you just submit your homeworks in our telegram group the link of which will be given in the description box.